I've known Bernie, I can tell you that this is a person who fundamentally understands the idea of solidarity and who has a very clear answer to that age-old question at the heart of the labor movement. That question is, which side are you on? I know, and you know, Bernie's answer to that question. He has always stood on the side of workers, and he always will. Thank you very much, and I hope you agree with that. <laughs> Senator Sanders, can you hear us? Okay. I said I see things going on back there. <laughs> Senator Sanders, can you hear us?
We now have earlier blooms of flowers, longer fire seasons, and stronger hurricanes. Taking immediate action now is the only way to prevent larger natural disasters in the future. Action now, now also addresses our country's income inequality, especially between the haves and have-nots, the income inequality between gender and between the races. The Green New Deal, supported by our union, has the potential to reduce both climate change and income inequality raising the standard of living for all. The current rules are not working for our planet, nor for the working people. As president, how would you lead in getting Congress to step up and handle the climate issues in a way that will address environmental racism and our broken economy? Well, Mark, thank you very much for your question. Uh, and I am very proud to tell you uh, that during this campaign, we have introduced the most sweeping climate change proposal ever introduced by any candidate for federal office. And that proposal is based on the Green New Deal. That proposal is based on the reality that if we are going to save this planet for our children and our grandchildren, we have got to have the courage to take on the greed and dishonesty of the fossil fuel industry and transform our energy system as quickly as we possibly can away from fossil fuel into energy efficiency and sustainable energy. And as you know, moving into a Green New Deal will help us create up to 20 million good paying union jobs as we retrofit our older buildings, make our transportation system electrified. And by the way, when we talk about and, and significantly improve agriculture to make our farmers, involve our farmers in the fight against climate change. And let me just say this, the issue of climate change is not just an American issue. It is a global issue. Yes, yes. Sadly and pathetically, we have a president who does not recognize the reality of climate change and does not listen to science. As your president, I will not only listen to the scientists, but I will help lead the world. And I'm talking about China and Russia and India and Pakistan and Brazil and countries all over the world to understand that maybe, just maybe, instead of spending $1.8 trillion a year on weapons of destruction designed to kill each other, maybe we should pool our resources and fight our common enemy, which is climate change. Thank you. And our final question is from Kismet Evans. Thank you. Good afternoon, Senator Sanders. My name is Kismet Evans, and I have been in the healthcare industry for 41 years, three of those years here in Nevada as a proud home care worker. Healthcare is one of the most important issues for our members because we are the largest workers union in Nevada. And as a local union, we are committed to making sure that we win health care for all. And right now, despite some of the conversation being that we're a union state, Nevada has the uh, sixth, the Nevada is the sixth highest rate of uninsured individuals with an 11.11% .11 of people without health care insurance. That's unacceptable. For those that have health care insurance, their premiums are going up and then they continue to increase while the greedy health care corporations' profits are on the rise. Senator Sanders, what is your plan to ensure that there is health care, quality health care for everyone and not just for insurance? Olga, thank you very much. Uh, and I hope that all of you know 
uh, that you're talking to the United States Senator who has introduced Medicare for all legislation in the United States Senate. And to me, although Medicare for all is not a new idea, in fact, I have been fighting for it for decades. Because I hold the view that health care is a human right for all and not just a privilege.